We open on Bryce, a rich man at the age of 16 who inherited money after his great uncle died in a tragic car crash. Bryce was the one who was driving the car that day that killed his uncle. Therefore, according to law, that meant that Bryce had inherited all of his money. Bryce was reading the world's best magazine when a homeless man approached him. Bryce demonstrated hardness of heart through three reasons here, through ignoring the poor man on fire. He also didn't give the man any money, which he clearly had some to give. Finally, it was hardness of heart because he let Orion's dog hit, get hit by a car when it could have easily been prevented. Oh man. What a long day. Oh man. Time to just, you know, hunker down. As Bryce fell asleep, he had a very mysteriously weird dream. I think you're so much better than everyone else, huh? Where am I? This is where your old house used to be, before Orion lit the town on fire. Oh no! This life was so hard before you ignored him. Look what he had to go through! What's this? Dear Orion, I'm leaving you and taking the kids. Tracy. Ah, I'm going to the casino. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want, but not what you need When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep Stuck in rivers And the tears come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace When you love someone But it goes to waste Could it be worse? Lights will
today, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why you're here, so you can learn from your mistakes. I have to go, I have to make things right. I'm gonna go wake up. Go, Bryce! Go make a difference! Go make a difference. We can make a difference. Go make a difference. I have to make things right. Bryce sprung out of bed and rushed back to where Orion was on fire. Oh man! It was a red! Stop dropping the wall, man! I can't believe that's all it took! Oh, I know! <laughs> oh man! There's just, I feel so bad! I just totally ignored you, and then the ghost in my dream last night was like, No! No, you can't ignore him! He's homeless and he's gambled his life away! I can't, I can't go back to that! Here, I brought you gifts, hold on! Here's what I got for you. I got fish food. Do you need that? Um, maybe, uh, maybe you can get a fish a now. Fish. Now that your, now that your dog died. Sorry about that. By the way, I kind of let that happen. But um, yeah, you have the fish food now in my wallet. I'm gonna give you that. You can have um, all of that. Uh, I don't have any money in it, but you can take it. Um, uh, cell phones. Uh, call the uh, friends you probably don't have. There you go. Uh, I don't um, have any friends. You'll like this. I'm, I'm you'll like this. Or maybe you won't. You don't really like Harry Potter. I know that much. So um. But this is a mint condition, a mint condition wand from Ollivanders. Can I sell it? Ollivanders? No. Can, you, um, um, it is a family heirloom that I got last week. So uh, but, take that. Uh, 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 goes into your cup. And I'm also got my bag of wonders. I feel like Santa right now. Um, I got our eighth grade, eighth grade graduation picture. We got some of that. Um, there's you. And um, Matt Byrne. Matt Byrne. Right there. So, um, here you go. I'll take that. Uh, I, I don't, and, uh, I don't. oh, here we go. This is my personal favorite. The bag is mine. I'm going to keep the bag. But, um, the Your Life in Christ book, which uh, is our religion book. How you can learn about sin, um, which is what I just did. I sinned. It was, um, I had a hard heart, so I just kind of completely ignored you. But I feel bad, so I'm going to fixing my mistakes. I am, how you say, erasing sin. So, um... Here you go, I'm gonna give this to you. Um, have a fun life. Good job, Mr. Homeless. The end. Happy holidays, everyone. Okay, no. Smile! Supposed to be a beautiful lady! Awesome bee. I think I should be a bee ghost. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> because, like, imagine if you just, like, woke up and there was a bee, and I was just like, Fix your mistakes! And you'd be like, oh god. No. Stop saying no. No! <laughs> you're stupid. Well, you're a butt face. And I will try.